Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to my playthrough of Wolfenstein 2 DLC, The Freedom Chronicles. And we're going to do the second episode of, of, the, uh, of the three, and it's called the, the Diaries of Agent Silent Death. The description here reads, Former OSS agent Jessica Valiant takes on a Nazi from the shadows. Now, OSS is, of course, the U.S. intelligence agency during World War, World War II. Um, this makes me wonder if this particular mission is more about the stealth, which is intriguing because I don't really have, I didn't have too much of an impression of on stealth throughout this whole game. Either it's the uh, main campaign or the first DLC episode. So. Let's see if the gameplay changes up anyhow during this one. My word. Look at that handsome bloke. OSA secret agent Jack Valiant. Super spy for the British Empire. The Queen's greatest asset. Except for one other. Agent Silent Death. My name is Jessica Valiant. During the war, I helped my husband perform his duties behind the scenes. Inseparable, both on the job and off until 1946. Jack bought me time to escape. If I'd had a choice, it would have been the other way around. Funny that, after the love of my life was taken away from me, the world submitted to the Nazis, and my faith in humanity crumbled. I fled to Brazil. Choosing a life in anonymity. It was a simpler life. A steady flow of fine alcohol and charming strangers served as my medication. Sounds nice. Kept me afloat, without purpose or direction. Then one day, I received a mysterious folder with the image of a crimson bulldog imprinted on it. That's weird. Inside were the briefs for three assassination targets. Torture expert Uber Commander Han Stiglitz, Hollywood Nazi collaborator Chuck Lorenz, and the infamous General Gerhard Dunkel. What I read shook me to the core. The files provided evidence implicating these men as responsible for the betrayal, torture, and murder of my husband. These men had to die, and so I departed for California in the American territories. First on the list was Uber Commander Hans, the man who tortured Jack. We're gonna kill all three of them and eventually I'd find out that Jack the is actually alive. In a delightful blur of Mark my words on that. But killing Nazis was like riding a bike. A dozen slit throats later, I found myself inside the Gestapo office in Sacramento, California. From there, I had to find my way to Uber Commander Hans's office. At the top floor. The top floor. Let's read this first. General Danko restores order to California. Recent outbreaks of rioting behavior have been dealt with in a swift manner, said General Danko yesterday during a live transmission from the moon. With a confident posture and a warm smile on his lips, the general explained how the anti patriotic behavior of degenerate terrorists would not cause any security problems for the decent folds of the American territories. We will protest. We will protect you from these monsters, my fellow citizens of the Greater Reich," said the general. Still, the general issued some words of caution. These murderous individuals could be hiding anywhere, so make sure to inform the authorities of any criminal activity in your community, he added. Okay. He gotta die. And do we climb up? I don't, I don't suppose it makes any difference. We're gonna end up in this. Wow, you have a total of 10 bullets. Lady, you are really stupid. I was going to say brave, but I changed my mind. As a secret agent, years of intense training, the OSS has allowed the agent of silent death to contort her body as to fit in small openings. So this is what would happen if, uh, if BJ chose the first of the three objects. Right. Nice. 
Zeigen Sie Respekt, Mann! Männer, ich bin in meinem Büro und bereite wichtige Dokumente für General Dunkel. Cool, right in the groin. ...verdächtige terroristische Aktivität. Und bringt mir bitte eine Tasse Tee und ein Schinkenbrötchen. Heil Hitler! Oberkommander Hans was my first hit in years. Felt like a stiff drink to take the edge off. Oh, I can also I climb under the table. That's nice. Uh, Lothar Stiglitz's letter. Will you come back to the fatherland to visit your dear older sister soon? I miss you and your funny jokes about Papa's bird watching obsession. Speaking of Papa, he's turning 60 soon, so maybe that would be enough to give you an excuse for some time off work. Papa says he's found a great spot in the woods where we can all go camping just like old times. Hope to see you soon. Love, Lada. Sorry, Lada. Your brother's not going to be making back home. In fact, he's not going to be able to make anywhere. Uh, it, it's because I'm going to kill him. I hope you understood that. Shit, shit, shit. Whoever comes down first, dies first. This is stupid. They're gonna see the body. Oh, is this a silencer? Awesome. Why are you looking at me? Oh! You're even more violent than the football guy. They are spying. Spy back. Yeah, that's a real nice solution. Come on. Ah, it's fine. Ah, here we go. Damn it. There's a stealth! Shit. So much for stealth. Well, I call this a resounding success. An apple. I love apples.
Who oh, is that me? Agent of Silent Death. Yes, this is me. Hello. Somebody's a stalker. Where's, where does this lead me? Hmm. Guess I won't find out. She's really quite hardcore when it comes to stealthing. it has more ammo in one uh, one clip now October fest invite this October we are preparing a very special feast for everyone we have games beer great German food and the traditional German folk music band playing live on stage will that be Rammstein should be something to take our minds off the recent trouble steered by the territories terrorists in the city you may bring one family member to the party and please osa before next thursday end of the end of day i hope it's scorpions because i do look kind of like scorpions the the band if you don't know what i'm talking about although i i would say that while they most of their music are good they can get a bit repetitive so maybe don't listen to too much in one go. I like that she has this slow mo effect right before she approached, what, right what, right about when the enemy is about to notice her. And of course I would like that because it makes things a little easier. Oh, this is the girls' bathroom. What do you mean unavailable? Are all of them Crawling occupied? Through events, I did regret one thing. Not diving into the hotel minibar the night before. Oh, you. From drunken midnight beach walks in Sao Paulo to skulking through Nazi Tossa Central. I wondered if I was up to par after all these years. What is all these little places that I can go to? Oh. Is it a little too much to go for the shit? Where's the guy? Where'd he go? God damn it, I'm, I've been chasing you around for a while now. Uh, Hans, I know you've been waiting a long time for a promotion. Your deft and admirable application of enhanced interrogation techniques has helped us out immensely during the years, and believe me, people have taken notice. This is why I send you an invitation to join me as my second command to oversee the important space expansion preparation we are doing here on the moon. 
Tie up any loose ends that you have back on Earth. You are heading to space next month. Glory to the rush. Ah, oh, good for you, Hans. Oh, wait. He's a Nazi. I shouldn't congratulate him. Uh-oh. Someone is approaching. That sounds like a really heavy guy. Can I have the knife back? Sleeping robot. They're on alert Years now. Years of losing had left a mark. Einzingling, Einzingling, verteidigen Sie das Büro von Überkommandant Hans um jeden Preis. Ich wiederhole, verteidigen Sie das Büro von Überkommandant Hans um jeden Preis. Nobody's coming though. Oh, somebody's coming. What do you think you're going? What is it outside? Is it a helicopter? Oh shit. What is going on? Why does it die? Ah! I'm reloading, god damn it. What just happened? That's a new enemy type, right? That's not a normal commander. <laughs> Only I need to kill even more folks. Okay, I don't want to tip this guy off. Commander from last time, he survived a hell lot of bullets. Oh shit. I'm wondering if I could maybe bypass him.
years of boozing have left the mark. Oh, shit! It was going so well. If only he dies faster. That's like the only obstacle, really. I don't really see any realistic way of taking taking the guy down more efficiently. Wait, 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 wait. Years of losing have left the mark. I did not expose myself yet. Come on, robot. I have no grenades. I have got nothing on the robot. Is there any way I can stealth kill the robot? That's what I'm wondering. That's a really good question too. <sighs> oh, thank you. What the hell? Okay, so maybe I didn't have I to... I could smell the sickly sweet perfume he'd chosen this morning. Ah! What the hell? This is... Is he just a normal guy, right? Is he just a normal person? Is that what we're dealing with here? Are we dealing with the supernatural or just human element? What is he? Why does he? Why doesn't he die? I, mean, I know there were a similar complaints I about Assassin's Creed sweet lately because Assassin's Creed morning. also doesn't allow you to just kill a, a man. Outright anymore. There's no real way to. Years of losing have left the mark. No, neither of the robots died? What the hell? Okay, okay, get down, get down. That's right. Wow, that was a resounding failure. Where are the health packs? Okay, health packs, good.
He dead. Guess we can go now. Mission accomplished. Where do I escape? Is there a particular... Ah! Fuck! This is ridiculous! So what, escape just means no, I need to get the hell out of here. Well, I'd like to, but it appears I have to kill everybody. Is that a deal here? You know what, let's uh, save the game. If I do have to kill everybody, then it's hardly a stealth mission, is it? I wish the music would stop, I really would. Just because I, I'm having trouble hearing the footsteps of the robot. I mean, I like the music as an indication whatnot for whether or not I'm still in danger. But this is, it's actually hampering gameplay now. I wonder if the robot can go up or downstairs. Hey. Yes, I'm here. Where'd the robot go? Oh. Dead yet? God, this this is not the best weapon to to do this. Finally. I'm clear. Oh, now I can go. Just in case, you know, gotta come from the kill. And so, another Nazi bellend had been sent to hell. Good riddance, Uber Commander Hans. I could feel the tug of war inside, a craving to escape this dreadful reality. But I couldn't. Hey, Jack McNeil. Every one of That's these Nazis was six feet weird. under. Until my Jack was avenged. Next up. 
the man who betrayed Jack. Actor, filmmaker, and Nazi collaborator Chuck Lorenz. Once Chuck. an undercover agent for the OSA, now a stooge for the Reich. We don't like Chuck! Like so many American traitors, that snake was generously rewarded for collaborating with the Nazis and had been promoted to head producer of American propaganda. Lorenz was now a powerful man with powerful friends. Oh, I well, could saw something about Terra Billy. Was about to have a rendezvous with Agent Silent Death. So this was Paragon Studios, mouthpiece for Nazi America. Am I still out rubbish propaganda to the masses? Is this still Volume One? This <laughs> is starting to blend together. I'm guessing I'm in Volume Two now. Well, let's just continue, shall we? Why not? Ah, you couldn't. You couldn't do a, a ammo check before you embark on an entirely different mission. Come on. Spotted the glass-domed main offices draped in Nazi banners beyond the sound stages. That's where my target would be. Hey, are this normal? Ah, shit. All right, people, line up, and once again, do not look into the camera. Every time we start over, we're taking more marks out of your paychecks, so let's get it right this time. Wow, that was embarrassing. That was just utterly embarrassing. This is Charles Lorenz speaking. As you know, I have a very important shoot coming up. Now, with the horrible murder of my friend Uber Commandant Hans Stieglitz, I want everyone to keep their ears open and eyes peeled, all right? Do want any degenerate terrorist sneaking around on the premises. Okay, he's addressing to me. Um, do you have a hotline? Because I'd like to make a call. I mean, that would, he would like that. He's a movie producer. He'd like to. He'd appreciate the, the dr dramatic effect. Rupert and Linda. Now, who's gonna win, German or else? Or else? What? What happens to the or else? I'm under that. If my life is, if my life is hanging on the balance, uh, relying on my protectors, I wouldn't annoy them like this. That being said, this is a cool set. What are you filming? I mean, the scale seems a bit off. Oh, 
Is this like some Ultraman shit that you're filming? Cause that's what it looks like. <clears throat> I can barely see them. Okay, I'm in too bright a spot. I need to go in the dark. I, that's who I am. I'm a spy. I'm in the shadow. This is vengeance from the shadows. Oh sh shit! Didn't realize there's that many of them. I feel like Han Solo facing uh, the entire room of stormtroopers. Of course, that is also a special edition change. There wasn't that many stormtroopers. Guards, it's Charles Lawrence again. I have told you countless times. No yeah. one is allowed to disturb me when I'm in the zone. Acting requires perfect concentration, and you are yes. ruining the preparations of my upcoming. I am so good. With your constant idiotic interruptions of flimsy requests and complaints. Thank you. He's still alive. my lesson this time <laughs> see not gonna play your game this time if you want me come up to get me you're actually coming up The fact is, this level is just way too fucking dark. And they're wearing dark clothes, I, I can't really see them all that well. Oh my god! I don't even understand what has happened. Yeah, Holy shit. Look at that. Look at that plasma. It's awesome. Come on up. I'd like more blood on the door, please. Man. 
Still, this is a lot of people dead at the door. Maybe this wasn't as stealthy or as spyish as the game developers were intending for. But it nevertheless gets the job done. Sorry for ruining your ultra match set. Sorry, but not sorry. I guess instead of collecting gold, our agent Silent Death prefers alcohol instead. You know what? No judgment. The Paragon Studios Whoa. office building looked exactly like the place a wanker like Lorenz would fester. Shoot for the new movie Blitzbench Returns Vengeance for the Aryan Race has a guard role available due to sudden illness. Involves no talking and there will be three knockouts. <laughs> Since I'm sure there will be many volunteers, please form an orderly line outside my office later today. 1 p.m. Oh, shit. <laughs> I don't really feel secure about this. This feels like entirely too many things can go wrong. Shit, 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 shit. Come on, man. Ah, uh, this is not a sustainable way to, to play through this because she doesn't really have the firepower that I'm used to. She's really supposed to be hardcore stealthing that I'm not used to. She, I'm feeling already. Get, get back, get back. What up? Not what am I supposed to do? That is the only way through, right? They're not gonna find me anywhere else. And I kinda doomed myself. If only I can use my weapon. Oh, I can. Okay, this is nice. Come on. Uh Yes, you have a dead here, you have a dead dog. You might wanna check on that. Hi! Can you see me? You see me or not? What do you mean him, you fucking sexist? You think a woman can do, do can kill you? Oh, you are gonna regret that. Nary a good opportunity. Get back, 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 back. 
Oh, poor dog. Hey! I didn't ask to come out. Can you just use your little knife to poke a little bit, but without coming out? Okay, this takes a little bit of skill. to take down as many of them as possible before they're on to me. You have a drinking problem. Bartender in Sao Paulo once said, Bloody Nazis are marching on your streets and you're telling me I have a problem? The world had gone mental and I just needed a drink. Maybe drinking wasn't the solution, but it sure soothed the pain. Look, what else was there? Oh, just bypass that room. Didn't even bother Anyway, I was did. a big girl and I decided when I could drink. Bloody hell, Jessica. Stop obsessing about your drinking. <laughs> yeah, not the best. I remember this place. This is the fucking court, isn't it? This is where BJ is going to be sentenced to death. I wonder if my decision to leave all the enemies back there will come back and bite me in the ass. Let me uh, set up a save slot. Shit. This place is insanely difficult to defend, I should know. Wow. Wow, they have a that thing. Well, this is going to dog shit, because I don't know what to do about that. What about a turret? There were... When BJ was here, there were turrets set up all around the place. No such fortune. Shit, multiple? Just... Is that... Is it even possible to stealth that those guys?
Okay, I'm gonna set up a uh, separate slave cell here just to try things out. I really wish I could shoot from here. Okay, they're waiting for me here, so I can't be here. I need to find another way. I can also go through here, but that would probably end, end up in the same room. More or less. Oh, look at this. This doesn't help at all, does it? through this one. Oh, what is this? Hollywood producer Charles Lorenz is the new Blitz Munch. Earlier this week, we reported that the Paragon Pictures had announced a new Blitz Munch movie adaptation written by General Angle's son, Otto Warder's Angle. I don't know he had a she had a son. So uh, that girl has a brother somewhere. We must ask her about that someday. Slated for release at the end of the following year. Today, it, is, it was announced that the famed Hollywood producer Charles Lawrence would be producing and starring in the title role in this ambitious production. It's an honor and a privilege to be given this opportunity, said the hero Lawrence in an interview earlier today. Blitz Munch has quickly become a household name among the citizens of the American territories. To be able to bring this classic hero to life on the silver screen is incredible! Be safer now. It is safer in the sense that there is only one robot now. See, nothing I can do about him from a uh, stealth sense of view. Where's the door? Where's the door? Ah, uh, I don't know what to do about this. They got me in a corner. There's no way I can take them down with the weapon I have. Maybe this will have better luck. Okay, I think I took down one of them. So if this guy ever leaves, I can take the super weapon of that guy and start my revolution! Yes, please leave. LEAVE! He knows I'm here. Bastard. I 
think I actually know exactly where I am. Which is quite uncanny. What is going on? Who's shooting? Oh, they're throwing grenades. Maybe their grenades can help me take down this robot, dude. Because he is really annoying. Okay, this is my chance. This is my chance. Oh, shit. Well, come on then. Who's the boss now? Uh, what the hell just happened? I never understood that that uh, little symbol the way it makes you throw something out I never understood what that is and it's always cost me give me that ah Chip, 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 chip. Yep. Oh, come on. Come on, dude. Come on, dude. I got bigger problems than you, you know. There's still too many of them and too few ammo. Okay. Time to save the game again while I make another daring attempt to take a super weapon and I'm back. They're a little too tough, don't you think?
Oh, I can't believe I'm back in this place. Are you kidding me? I still hear a big giant robot somewhere, but I don't know where it is, which worries me a lot. And then there's still this goddamn music that can't make me hear it very clearly. Let's save the game again, shall we? Why not? I'm getting more than a little paranoid, by the way. Okay, wherever you are, shoot at me. Damn it, shoot at me so I know where you are. Uh, so the office I'm going to is over here. Is it? Oh, of course. No super weapon allowed, I get it. Getting close. This is Herr Lorenz. You should know that Uber Commander Hans Stiglitz has been murdered. He was assassinated in his office in Sacramento. I suspect it could be someone from the past coming back to haunt us. Do you remember a British operative named Jack Valiant? You should, since it was you who set him up and allowed us to capture him during the war. If this is the work of his wife, Agent Silent Death, then you may be in mortal danger. Consider yourself warned, General Dunco. Well, that is a re very reassuring letter. I mean, we are aware that you are in mortal danger. We're just not gonna do anything about it. How does that sound? You. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god! Wow. I had no idea there's still so many obstacles in front of me. But life of an assassin is not an easy one. Shit. I saved the game at a spot where I'm just immediately Just awesome.
You know what? Yeah, not that fast. Ah, I'm I'm trapped. I hate stealth missions. I'm just gonna lay it out. I fucking hate stealth. I just want to kill people. And in my opinion, this is just my humble opinion. I can totally be wrong. If you're gonna s strengthen the uh, notion of stealth in in the mission, maybe don't deposit s multiple enemies that cannot be stealth by nature. Just saying, it sends very conflicting message. Wow. No chance. I stand no chance. Just gotta... I don't see any other way around this. We gotta... Just kill. Oh, this one needs a reload. Come on! If a fucking normal soldier takes so many shots, what would this thing do? Oh, it's actually killable, once you know how. Oh, super weapon, super weapon. Oh shit, get back, get back, just, just get him back. Bad idea, dude. The good thing about this laser thing is it's very accurate even in long range. Oh, look at this guy. That's a very gruesome dead face. A dead face, I just mean the face that clearly sends the message that, oh no, I'm dead. Yet. How the fuck are there still so many of you? Are you coming or... That everyone? Just in case. Mm hmm. <sighs> I'm gonna go to the Lorenz's office now. Settle a few scores. You know, old timers. Hey, is that mine? Probably not. Right. Oh, poor you. You got lasered. Let me guess. I'm not allowed to bring my super weapon in there. I have to climb through a tiny little hole. Well, in that case, I'm gonna be make sure I don't get caught my with my pants down just really 
Oh. I am Blitzmensch. Prepare to be blitzed. Well, that sounds awkward, doesn't it? I thought it was fine, sir. Are you a movie critic, Sebastian? No? Then shut the hell up! Who are you talking to? Achtung, I am Blitzmensch. Prepare Jesus Christ. Eaton flu or something. Who, who wrote this baloney? General Engel's oldest son, Adalvanus, I think, sir. Of course. I mean, the man's a genius. <coughs> Pretty darn good, don't you think? Uh, I thought you said. Just shut up and listen, Sebastian. Thank you. <clears throat> Achtung! Mm -hmm. I am Blitzmensch. Prepare to be blitz. God damn it to hell! How that for you? Well, I'm gonna make my daring escape now. I'd planned on spending the end of my days in Brazil. I was at the point where it seemed my years of strife were finally over. Jack was fading away into the distant past, obscured by the spirits medicating my soul. I should have realized that's not how life works. And now it came down to this. General Dunkel, the man who killed my Jack. The coward had long ago decided to hide away on the moon. General Dunkel would be my last hit. Then I could go back to my old life. The moon's gonna be a new level, right? Return. We didn't go to the moon in this game. Jack always said he was over the moon whenever something good happened. Well, my love, how I wish you were here. Moon Base Gamma was the loathsome General Dunkel's domain, a military research complex. It was just a matter of time before someone discovered the bodies and the transport, so I had to move fast. Well... That's going to be for the next episode, and for now, thank you for watching. Next time, we come back to kill General Duncan.